welcome back. And we have with us Kathy Akers this morning, Fathom Realty. Glad to have you, Kathy. Good morning. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. I was just discussing with Kathy about our 4th of July, and both of us took little road trips, and we're back. And it's time to go back to work. That's right. So That's anyway, right. we're going to learn this morning uh, a little bit of um, so a little bit of a treat when Kathy comes because she always gives us tips, and I love tips. I read tips all the time about this and that. I learn so much. So this morning we're going to just dive right into it. What you got? Okay. Um, some of these we've talked about before, but it's always a good thing to kind of go back over some some of the items. But mm -hmm. um, we're going to talk about. Um, tips for your house for the summer and let's start inside okay, okay. Um, how about some home updates um, if you haven't already you know may, maybe switching to some lighter linens unless you're like me and I stay cold so there's always a blanket on my bed <laughs> me too I got a blanket on my bed right now that's right um, updating your closet taking out some of those winter clothes and putting it switching out for your um, summer clothes if you don't have room in your closet for all of them take some to the Salvation Army like that's I right. just did that's right we've got a couple of boxes waiting to to go there as well on Goodwill yes um, you you know, how about sprucing up that guest room? Have you been mm -hmm. in there recently? You know, um, you know, you had everybody over for the holidays. Now you've had a, some time away. How about going back in there and just checking? Does it need fresh linens? You know, that kind of thing. Um, you know, as always, just kind of giving it an updated look. Um, now that we're past pollen season, <laughs> yes, my yes. <laughs> goodness, we can put the screens back in. We've had some really nice low humidity days, mm -hmm. so yeah. that's been nice. You could sit outside, so what a great time to actually put your windows up and enjoy that breeze coming in. So, um, you know, of course, scrub your screens before you put them in, but that that way too, you keep the bugs out. Um, how about house plants? Um, bringing in some house plants to help filter the air inside. Yes. Um, if you don't know, plants actually produce oxygen. So they take the carbon dioxide out of the air and produce oxygen. So that's a, a great way to um, help filter your air inside and mm -hmm. keep it fresh. Um, unless you're like me and that my house is where plants come to die unfortunately but anyway <laughs> um, but that's always a, a nice idea to you know to freshen up the air some um, clean the refrigerators um, the coils if you've still got one of the old-fashioned ones that have the coils on the back or even um, the trays underneath where thank the, you you know that is if you haven't pulled that that piece off, off the bottom, bottom and looked underneath dust. there recently, <laughs> dust. If you do have, you know, pull your refrigerator out, get all of that dust and lint and yes. all of that out of there. Um, if, talking about lint, how about your um, dryer? You know, giving it a good clean. I do make sure I do that. Kathy, I'm scared to death of a dryer fire. Because mm -hmm. every time the fireman comes in here, they terrify me about a dryer. <laughs> That's so right. Yes, yes, yes. Talk about that. Um, you know, it's not just, I have one of those long, thin tubed um, mm -hmm. brushes just that can clean. Up that can clean down inside but you know it, simple things just cleaning the lint out of your dryer every time you use it oh, yes. but the other thing to do is now's a good time to go to the outside mm -hmm. and open the vent where your um, your dryer vents out clean it from the outside and get everything cleaned out now be careful because I have heard of you know birds sometimes getting in there and nesting and some other little slithery creatures yes. coming in there. So be careful, but that now's a great time to do that kind of cleaning. Get it cleaned out before any issues do come up. Absolutely. And the firemen say take your little thing, your little brush, and make sure to go outside and do that, do that way up in there to get pull that lint and you'll be surprised. You really will be um, surprised at what you can um, pull out of uh, the dryer vents. And speaking of birds, I just want to interrupt one minute. Um, a little bird hit, flew into my 
big glass window in the front of my house. Broke his neck, I guess, oh. but he was laying on my porch and I was so sad. But anyway, yeah, I just had to say that. I'm so sorry for the little bird. I know it. It is. It is um, one of those accidents. things. Um, one of the things you may want to think about, and it, it's a nice thing, especially have if you have young children too, is those little. Um, you use suction cups and you put up, and they're the little um, little glass. Mm -hmm. or, um, I'm trying to think. They're not ornaments per se, but you know, I I've been given some over the years. Um, everything from shamrocks to mm -hmm. crosses to different things. You can find flowers, but that would be a great idea is to put some suction cups up. That way, it gives them something other than a plain glass to yes. to focus on. And the bird. The birds are less likely to hit your windows yeah. that way. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, how about um, installing some compact fluorescent light bulbs? We've been mm -hmm. talking about that. Um, this weekend, um, I, at one of the places that um, I visited um, on our little road trip, they had some of those new nice hanging Hand, they're not a canned light, but they're the hanging pediment lights. Mm -hmm. And she was able to change the color. Now, oh. the globe on itself with just the clear light was gorgeous. But she had a remote and she could change to different colors. And it was amazing what you can do now with um, the fluorescent bulbs and um, the smart bulbs and those kinds of things. So, you know, that might be something to mm -hmm. think about if you need, um, you know, if you're in like in your um, game room or something, you want to do some festive Absolutely. lighting, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, how about checking your um, air conditioner? Um, if you've not done so, having your getting those air filters replaced. Remember, don't go out and buy those nice, thick HEPA filters. Mm -hmm. Yes, they, they talk about getting all the allergens out of the air. Just get the little dollar ones that are um, paper, or, you know, cardboard paper. Replace them more often. I was going to say you're going to replace them often anyway. Hopefully, and hopefully, um, but this way you're you're allowing your air conditioner to work at its capacity, and you're not overtaxing it mm -hmm. with those heavy filters. That's um, right. Having somebody come in twice a year, and this is the time to do it. Now that we're past that first kick on of air conditioning, um, the heating and air guys' um, schedules are sometimes a little less. Mm -hmm. um, uh, tight and so now's the time to get them to come out and just do a quick service of your unit to make sure everything's functioning properly. Yes. Um, change their, uh, as we talked about changing the filters in your um, system. Um, test your thermostat you know for heat you know for cooling but mm -hmm. um, you know it's kind of hard to do that for heat right now because there's right. not enough temperature difference to kick the heat on. Right, right. Um, one of the things that we don't do um, that often, but it helps a lot, is to switch our ceiling fans to counterclockwise. That helps push the air back down. Oh yeah, I hadn't you know, about that. Um, with yeah. you know, pull um, pulling. Well, actually, it's pulling it up in a way. The heat rises, so you want right. the, you want it to to pull it up and out of the way. And then during the the winter months you switch it back the other way and it pushes the heat back down. Sure. So um, you want to make sure that you're rotating your fa um, the switch on your fan so that you're making the best use of those ceiling fans. Um, cleaning your air vents as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know while you're up there switching the fans clean yes. your fan but also clean those um, air vents because those returns are collecting dust as well on the outside and right. on the inside and especially if your filter is kind of dirty and it hasn't been changed in a while you know that would be one. Um, Now's a good time to update your blinds and shades or draperies, that kind of thing. Um, right. You know, give a fresh new look to the house. Um, we're going to step outside. Um, we've talked about this, about cleaning up the underbrush around your trees, yes. making a great statement at the front of the house. Um, check your um, outdoor hosing and irrigation system. If you've got it turned on, you've probably already gone through and done those system checks. But, you know, it's always to, to you know, good idea to walk around and check to make sure that for 
one reason or another, um, one of those sprinkler heads is not malfunctioning. Right. Um, it, you know, it, keeping an eye on it, the, you know, all summer is a great idea because at any time you could have one to break, one to stop functioning. Um, you know, they get off kilter sometimes, you yes, know, especially if a, if a lawnmower has hit one, that kind of thing. Um, make sure that they're not spraying everybody else out in the out the road as they drive by, you know, get get it to rotate back into oh, no, the that's yard. That's I get my car washed. <laughs> Is <Kathy>. that it? <laughs> okay. Um, raking the lawn, you know, getting up any of that dead undergrowth that right. you know as you're, um, or if you've got a great as you vac, uh, or excuse me, as you mow your lawn, if you have one of those vacuum mm -hmm. bags that helps pull that out. Um, a lot of times we talk about letting it go back in to help mulch the yard, mm -hmm. but um, you know, sometimes it, it, just getting a nice um, bagging of it to get all that extra undergrowth um, so that you sure. get new growth coming in. Yes. Um, watering your lawn, um, you know, we've been hoping for some rain and the rain just had, now certain it's areas in the, you know, Red Oak had some rain mm -hmm. as well as some of the other it's areas. It's spotty. It's so spotty. It's very spotty and um, where I live in town we've had very minimal rain to actually fall on. Yeah, you know. we have two at my house and you'll drive down the road a half a mile <laughs> and it was soaking wet yesterday. That's right. I said, what in the world? That's right. So, you know, um, it, it, check your watering schedule to make sure you're watering in the mornings because you don't want to do it in the evenings because right. um, that helps cause um, rot and molds and that kind of thing. Um, reseeding, um, I think we're probably a little further along to reseed your lawn, but that's one of those things. Um, it, you're enjoying your backyard more. Mm -hmm. um, re remember just to rinsing off your patio furniture, you know, sweeping your patio. Um, how about um, updating some of those pillows? The, we've talked about this before adding that pop of color out there. Yes. You know, there's some fabulous indoor outdoor fabrics nowadays on mm -hmm. iron, some beautiful um, pillows that you can use to spruce up your um, your furniture. Um, getting somebody, um, talking about citronella candles, that kind of thing. There's also some companies that are out there that will come and spray your backyards. Mm -hmm. um, and Absolutely. that way, you, in the, from what I understand, it lasts you during this, for the whole summer. You probably won't need to have them spray it again. But it's a great idea, especially if you've got kids playing out in the backyard. Yes, absolutely. You know, in the evenings, it's a great idea to, to maybe have one of those companies come and spray mm -hmm. for the mosquitoes. Um, and along that idea is make sure you don't have water ponding in certain places. Right, right. Because that's a breeding ground for those mosquitoes. Um, your outdoor grilling equipment. Um, you know, I'm sure a lot of people grilled over the over the Fourth of July. We did some. And uh, hopefully, you went in and you cleaned everything. Um, you organized all your equipment and you have everything ready for your summer. Um, outdoor lighting, solar powered lights, mm -hmm. those kinds of things. Now's the time to look at those. See if anything needs updated. Um, you know. Just touching up your landscape around your patio, um, adding flowers. Um, my husband griped because I bought more flowers and planted pots and things like that. But you know, it's nice when we sit out there. There's something blooming. You know, it yes. gives a nice. Okay. It's like nice that. to look at that kind of thing. Yeah, I know it takes a little longer to water everything, but you know, you you get to enjoy it. I love you know? having, I love flowers on my patio, on my on my deck, on Even, my porch. Even, you know, if you can have it, like I have um, the back, my back patio in the afternoons is shaded, so I have some really beautiful Boston ferns back there. Right. And they're in pots and they're just gorgeous because mm -hmm. it's just adding a little more color to my, my back, backyard. Um, for those that have pools, you know, I'm, I know that everybody's probably already been in their pools. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just a quick reminder, you know, continue to make sure you're checking those pH levels, the chlorine levels, um, that kind of thing. Um, checking your water for hardness and, and calcium, that kind of thing. Um, right. Clean out your pool, check your pump and filters there, um, and add water as needed. You know, if, if, if 
your kids were like mine water went everywhere when they were in the pool so you know yeah. that that's a nice you know just topping off your pool yes. occasionally and again check those filters that come with your um, system because you know if you don't maintain your system then your system's not going to work right for you and and these things your air conditioning unit you were talking about your swimming pool that's all right. these things cost so much money that we need to maintenance them the best that you can to make them last that's right and the other thing I'm, I'm going to mention is um, a home warranty program um, we've talked about this before but if it's something that you're interested in let me know because they cover those mechanical things it's those items are not covered in your homeowner's insurance mm -hmm. so remember that so if the water heater there's an issue with the water heater or the heating and air conditioning system some of these home warranty programs are very reasonable right. um, for an annual fee and then you have a, a call out fee for for them to come and take care of the maintenance um, but you can also pick up some extras especially if you have like um, a well and septic or even right. for your pool equipment so you can add on some features to those home warranties so that you don't get caught blindsided um, when one of these things goes down and then you're out of pocket all of the money that you you know to sure, repair yeah. or replace an appliance so you know that's always one of those things to look at and there's some great companies out there that offer some very reasonable um, home warranties that cover quite a bit. So. Right, right. All right. Well, very good, Kathy. Okay. That was wonderful information, and a lot of it is things that we may know but we don't think about right until it's brought to our attention and then we say oh I need to do that I need to do that so this is so helpful and I really appreciate your approach on the program yes you do sell homes call Kathy Kathy let's talk about how can they get in touch with you you can always reach me by phone at 252-266-4038 or check out my website that you see listed behind us yes <laughs> Absolutely. Get in touch with Kathy. It's, it's house buying time, believe me. I, I tell you, it, it's just right now I can't believe the market. It, it's just um, going, it's just, how many houses are on the market right now? Right now, um, I think we're still in that 350, 350. To 360 range. Um, I haven't been on the MLS this morning, but um, anyway. But the other thing I'm, we're going to do is next time I'm on, um, we're actually going to do an update of the the market for the first half of the year. Oh, great! I love that. So. Okay, but it's a seller's market right now. Go for it. If you want to <laughs> sell your home, call call Kathy. Hey, she can help you. Right? That's right. Absolutely. That's right. All right. Well, we'll be right back with me and the general right after this.